Hi there, this is Keith from Rural Revolution. And in this video, I just wanted to show you a little trick that you may find useful when handling small seeds. If you're like me and your eyes aren't quite what they used to be, and your fingers are too big to be handling tiny little seeds, then this technique could come in very handy indeed. I've been using this method now for a few years and it really does work. Another plus point is that it doesn't cost any money. We can use bits and pieces that we've all got lying around at home. The first piece of equipment that we're going to need to find is a small stick. Now a toothpick or a cocktail stick would work perfectly here. For this video we're going to be using this old bamboo cotton bud. I use them quite often for crafts and I've normally got them lying around at home. It'd be a waste to not get one more use out of it. Now ideally it's best to have a point on the stick, so I've just trimmed this here with a sharp scalpel. Be careful when you're doing this and mind your fingers and your eyes because sometimes the blades can snap. As always it's best to make the cut away from your hands and your body. If you're using a toothpick or a cocktail stick you don't need to worry about this because there'll be a point there already. The next item that we're going to need is something to put our seeds on. You could just use a piece of paper towel but I find it best to use an old lid. It helps to keep the seeds all together without them going all over the place. We're also going to need a small water container. As you can see we don't really do single use plastics here. We always keep hold of old plastic containers and lids. They come in so handy for lots of different projects. Now that we've got all of our equipment ready, all we need is a seed tray with some soil, like this one I've prepared here. This technique is incredibly simple. We're just gonna dip our stick into the water and go towards the seeds. And as you can see, they just stick to the end. It makes a great temporary bond and you can even shake it about a bit and it won't fall off and it gives you plenty of time to get the seed to where you want it to be. We can now move the seed over to our tray and gently place it exactly where we want it to go. This simple method has really helped me. I used to find this process quite frustrating but now it's so easy. I think that jobs like this should be really enjoyable and this has certainly taken the headache out of it for me. I've tried lots of different techniques in the past but nothing really seemed to work. I've tried tweezers and I've tried to evenly sprinkle the seeds across the surface but nothing seemed to work out. I just end up with loads of clumped up seeds and loads of space or seeds flying all over the room. It's also nice and quick and you can also see where you've been. So there we go, within a few minutes we've managed to plant 120 chilli seeds, all nice and evenly spaced, which will make um, pricking out a lot easier. As I mentioned earlier, this is a brilliant technique, especially if you're having difficulty keeping your hands steady or you struggle with your eyesight. And being so low tech makes such a lovely change in this day and age. You're not going to be hassled about firmware updates on your wooden stick. You're not going to have to spend hours of your life trying to sync up the water cup with Alexa. Getting back to our tray here, I'm just going to cover the seeds with a light sprinkling of soil. And then we're going to give the tray a good watering in. I like to use the spray gun for this. I find that it doesn't disturb the soil as much. The last thing that we want to do now is to blast our seeds all over the place. And that's it, our tray is now ready to be placed into the propagator. As well as working perfectly on seed trays and pots, I found that this method is absolutely amazing for using on jiffy pellets. After soaking the pellet until it expands, we make a small hole in the centre. And our stick and water technique is absolutely perfect for dropping the seed into that tiny hole. Brilliant. And as you can see from this photo that I took this morning, it really is a successful technique. This young chilli plant looks very happy indeed. It doesn't really get any easier than using this method. Why not give it a try and let me know how you got on. <laughs> 